All right, what's up, y'all? It's Jason checking in. Um, today, I'm going to be doing a solder bullet motor leads. Sometimes you run out of bullets and you might need to take them off another motor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna desolder from this motor and then attach them to this motor. Of course, got one motor, got another motor. Bullets go, come from this motor to this motor. Some tweezers, razor blades, some pliers, heat shrink. I got a plate to do my work on. Got some fluff, got a mini torch, solder iron, got a solder. First thing we'll do is go ahead and remove heat shrink from all wires. That'd be a good idea. So I'm actually doing it the hard way, removing it from one motor and putting it on another motor, but I don't really see a video, too many videos of desoldering and resoldering, so I'll just do this today. Get rid of all the heat shrink. So we're back, we got all the heat shrink off. So now what we need to do is remove the bullet. So honestly, the easiest way to do it is to get the motor set up how we want, right? Get our flame, heat up the bullet might be some burning stuff going on but it's all good just be careful not to you know mess up the motor okay so we'll get that off do the next one just heat it on up there you go time for the next one just heat it on up all right so this motor's all done. This motor can actually still be resoldered. Just gotta clean these leads up a little bit. See that? So we'll put that to the side. And then now we'll we'll clean these up. Now a good way to clean these up is to heat them up. Get it nice and hot. When it's hot enough, give it a little throw. It should be clean. Just gotta be careful. You don't wanna splash any hot metal on you. And we'll do the same for, for this one. Just heat it up. Once it's nice and hot, give it a little throw. Oh, I splashed some everywhere, but it's good enough. The last one, you know, real good. Hopefully I can get it on the, the plate this time. There you go, that looks a lot better. Just clean it up. That's all you gotta do, all right? Now this stuff should come up pretty easy. Once, once it cools down, we're not gonna worry about that. Now these bullets are pretty hot, so you wanna be careful with that. The way I like to get bullets ready, right? I just like to get solder, put some water on the sponge. Oop, oop, got it all over the, the damn table. Oh well. We'll wash that up later on. Let's clean up this iron. Now, let's get some solder up in here. We don't need a lot, just enough. Just let the solder drip up in there. All right? This one needs a little bit more. All right, now the next one. Let the solder drip up in there. Like I said, we didn't have to fully clean out the, the bullets. You know, it's fine there's a little bit of solder in there against the walls, but we didn't have like a big, huge glob from the last solder job. You don't want that. All right, so we're all done with that. So what we do is we get our, our new motor. Now this motor got some beefy wiring. Check out the wiring. They're both TP motors, okay? This one's censored. This one isn't. Um, I got a censored one in this X-Mac. Um, but look at the wiring on that thing. Now, the thing about TP motors, termination for the stator is at the end of these wires. So these wires come with the coating on them and then they have solder on top. So if you, let's just say you wanna cut these shorter, if you cut these shorter, you have to get each wire strand and separate them and remove the coating off of them and then put them back together and then you solder it like this. If you don't do that, you won't be able to solder. So TP motors, I like to avoid that and just use the way they have it. Motors like uh, Castle Motors, the stator termination Termination is within the motor, okay? This wire right here is actually the wire that's at the stator. That's why it's, you know, it bends and it stays. It's not like the castle where the castle motor, the hobby wing motor with the actual wiring, it doesn't hold its place because that wiring is actually different than what's inside the stator on a castle and a hobby wing because the termination is, is done within the motor. All right, so what we can do with this is, since it's already pre-soldered, we can just put some These are already pre tinned We're gonna heat up the bullet. So we heat up the bullet. Get it nice and hot. Solder should start melting. Stick that wire up in there and hold it still. Hold it still.
It gets hot, I tell you. So that's cool now. Fill this hole up a little bit. I like to clean it up. Make it nice and solid. Get that hole filled up. Get our next bullet, right? Let's get our wire ready. Just hold it for a minute or two, let everything cool down. Okay. This one looked like it overfilled a little bit, so, so it looks like on this side, we need to clean that up a little bit with the iron. I like to just get it and just wipe it back. Just wipe it back. And then for the other side, you can actually just fill that hole. Let's keep it nice and fill it up with solder. There you go. Last bullet. Get that nice and hot. Get that lead up in there. And boom. This one needs to be filled up pretty, pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and fill that wire up. So we fill that captivity. So we look pretty, pretty done now, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill everything at the top. You know, this motor is gonna pull, pull some amps. So I want everything to be soldered just right. So we're gonna just fill it all up. So we got our new joints on here. Black. Okay.
too much battery we got here. It seems a little weak. 2.8. Let me see if I can find something that's more charged. I'll try these out. Black red. Let's see what we got. Looks like we're all good here. Someone gets hot. Very amp, amp hungry motor.